I'm uncertain about parting ways. God, you're like an old woman. Because I'm wise? United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We, we are, are comics. comics. Dave Bautista says Marvel Studios doesn't see worth in doing Drax standalone movie. This is coming from comicbook.com. Comicbook.com, that's comicbook.com. An article by Matthew Aguilar. Dave Bautista is beloved for his portrayal of Drax in Marvel Studios' hit Guardians of the Galaxy films, but he is also a fan favorite off the movie set. One of the biggest reasons for that is that the actor never hesitates to share what's on his mind, and he recently responded to a fan's proposal of him playing a Batman villain with quite a bit of enthusiasm. He then shared a story regarding that and elaborated a bit on his love for superhero characters. I love them too. And during that tweet, he also said that Marvel Studios does not seem to see the worth in a Drax solo film. Point is, I freaking love comic book characters and I want a standalone, Butista wrote on Twitter, at Marvel Studios. Doesn't see worth in hashtag Drax or possibly myself or both, but I'm not giving up. I missed out on a DC project because of scheduling conflicts, but hopefully there's other characters and opportunities. It seems Butista is all for a Drax solo film, but even if that doesn't happen, he isn't done with comic book characters by a long shot, as he also addressed the possibility of doing a DC project. He mentions that he missed out on a DC project due to scheduling conflicts, but he doesn't say what that project was. Butista has been quite busy on the Marvel front over the past few years, so it could have been anything during that time between Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Avengers Endgame. As Butista was involved in some capacity in both of those as well as Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and Avengers Infinity War. The only current DC movie universe film that was shot before that was the original Man of Steel. So, the role he is referencing could have been in films like Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Aquaman, and Shazam, which have all hit theaters since then. Another possibility is that he's referring to a film that is currently in production, and the most interesting project in that mix is The Suicide Squad. That film is being directed by James Gunn, who directed Butista and Guardians films. Gunn took that movie on during his outster from Disney. Though, he would eventually return to the House of Mouse and Marvel to take on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. He will finish the Suicide Squad first though, so he's hoping we at least get a cameo from Butista in the film. But who knows, maybe he'll show up somewhere else in the DC Universe after his run at Marvel is done. Shonen Show UCU Family Members United Comics Universe. So, Marvel does not see the value in a Drax standalone film. Hmm. How do you feel about that? Let us know down below. My opinion, <clears throat> the way I'm feeling about this is... I would like to see a Drax standalone film. I guess we, we could go without it, but... I particularly like Drax. I like what they did with him, and I do want to know his backstory, what happened with his wife and children. I want to know <clears throat> if there's going to be a connection with him and Mantis, meaning they had a connection in the past through his daughter, uh, Moon Dragon. So, I'd like to see all that, because I, I want to see Moon Dragon, and uh, I want to see more about Drax. So, I would love, personally, a Drax standalone film, but they might feel like it's not uh, important enough to make perhaps so the only way that I can see a Drax film actually happening if it's if, if us the fans love it enough to push it because they would see worth in it if worth has presented itself because every fan is like 
cash in hand. So, what do you think? I would like to see a Drax standalone film. I think we could go without it. It'll be, it's no one will be hurt. No one will be, well, I mean, some people would. It, there's just, there's some Drax fans that are really intense and really like Drax, but there may not be enough of them anytime they don't see worth in it. Or it could just because they don't have no interest in it and just saying there's no worth because there's no worth to them. You never know if they're giving us their honest opinion or not to us, the fans. Their audience. <clears throat> well, I'd say roll with the Drax film. Ultimately, I'd like to see it. But that's just me. What do you think? Please comment down below and hit that subscribe button before you go. Get notified. And please, if you like anything in this video, hit that like up button. We'd appreciate it. You see, you family members, remember, wherever you go, you and I and we are comics. Why aren't you wearing one of Rocket's arrow rigs? It hurts. I have sensitive nipples.